Reddy shares a, a, a an interesting thing and asked a question in our Discord. Says, um, my neighbor who has an iPhone and a Mac sent me a te- text message yesterday at 1 p.m. while I was at work away from home, which is where my Mac is. I did not get that message on my phone, though. Today, I logged into my Mac and saw the notification there. This happens from time to time and with slightly different circumstances. My Mac and iPhone are both signed into iCloud under the same account, and I only have one iCloud account. Are there any settings I can change so that anyone who sends me a text message will go to all of my Apple devices? And there was a fantastic conversation in Discord that transpired long before I even got there, which I love. And uh, I I believe, it, yeah, it was Porthos John in, in Discord who pointed out and advised Ready to check the the that the messages on your phone will be received at all the same phone numbers and emails that are set in your Mac. And so you do that by going in to settings messages, which I swear I'll find on my phone. Eventually I got to get out of privacy and security here, but uh, yeah, go to settings messages and then send and receive there. And you will see a list of all of, of presumably your phone number, and then all of the email addresses that are linked to your iCloud account. And you can link new ones at iCloud.com slash mail, I believe. Or maybe it's just in your in the, the sort of the top level of your iCloud account. Because uh, it doesn't have to just be the the your iCloud address. It can like I have my Mac Geekab address in there and all of those things. And you can choose whether or not you will receive messages sent to those email addresses and it turned out that ready had turned off all of the email addresses on his phone and for whatever reason his neighbor had his email address as his iMessage address to which he was sending things and so those things would only appear on his mac where he had all of those things selected so it is important what's nice is you can in that same thing you can choose one of your addresses to start new conversations from and you can choose that to be your phone number or not your phone number. And there, there I, I don't know that there's any one right answer for that. I, I It defaults to your phone number. Uh, it, it, so that's what a lot of people use. It's what I use. But I have noticed when I'm traveling internationally or something, it's like, oh, I wish I had sent it for people to use like my, my uh, you know, uh, one of my email addresses Although iCloud's pretty smart and it'll get it to your phone even if that SIM is offline because it knows you're logged into that iCloud account. And so your phone number becomes this sort of representation of you, not your actual, like you don't need that phone online. So it gets a little weird. But like when my daughter moved to Italy and gave up her U.S. phone number and, you know, now she has an Italian phone number for her phone and she pays $11 a month for 150 gigs of super high speed data, which is awesome for her. Um, maybe 11 euro, but it doesn't really matter. It's cheap. <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, any but all, it, she had to like teach people how to contact her again, because if you texted her U.S. phone number or even I messaged her U.S. phone number, it would no longer get to her. So that that all needed to happen. So think about those things when you're making your choice about what do you want to have to deal with in the future? 